Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day four of the December League Code Daily Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in this call. Let me know what you think about today's prom. Uh, if you're new to the stream, I usually solve this live and I talk about my thought process as I'm reading this for the first time. Uh, and so, yeah, watch it. Watch in 2x or something like that if you want to speak through to the solution uh, toward the end. Uh, and for this problem, the k factor, k factor of n. Okay, so you just have to list all the factors in it. Okay. And then return the k factor. Okay. So the easy part is that n is less than a thousand. Um, it makes it easy because you can just do brute force uh, with respect to getting all the factors in a easy way. Um, if n was much bigger, then you would have to do something like prime factorization and then do um, a sort of um, some kind of heap type thing to kind of get the f smallest factors as as you take out the prime divisors and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, but for, for now, this problem will keep it simple because n is a thousand and we'll just make sure that we do the loop. Um, and we don't even have to do anything clever because n is only a thousand so you don't even have to do um if you really want to be clever you could do stuff up to the square root of n um but for me for now i'm just going to do it the most naive brute force way um and if i was in a contest or something like that when i see these constraints that's what i would do because then i don't even have to think about it and i could get it done in about two minutes um and i, I might still get it done in two minutes so yeah so now let's just get, go let, let's create a factors we could go from, let's use, uh, I was just going to say, let's just say i. Uh, i in range of from 1 to n inclusive. Um, if n my i is equal to 0, factors dot append uh, i, right? And that's pretty much it. And then now we return factors of k. Um, is the, oh yeah, I was looking for the if. Uh, the negative one k, so don't forget about that. So length of length of k is uh, oops, length of uh, factors is less than k, or yeah, if k is greater than or equal to factors. We return negative one. Otherwise, just return factors of n, and that should be okay. Uh, I there's a lot of uh, testing, or not even a lot of testing, just a lot of typing into the testing. But I will do that. Uh, you know, feel free to speed this one up through montage or something like that. Uh, okay, so now it's running. Uh, ooh, so definitely not, unless I miss, uh, quit, oh, well, it's definitely not the right answer because four is definitely not, uh, the right answer even for the first case. Um, hmm. Okay, then the other thing that I double check was whether it, K is, um, one index or zero index, and clearly it is one index so that's not that bad we just have to go uh convert it to the zero index okay so that looks good because uh the reason how i could debug this so quickly is because the code is so small that it really can't be wrong by that much um not, uh, not always is true but but yeah so this one was the complexity um the complexity is of n because n could have at most well not really but it, but let's say n uh but we do check off n for the factors so this is gonna be o of n uh you can actually uh so the two optimizations you can do one again is just count up to the square root uh that obviously make it smaller and then the other one is noticing that um you know we only need to care about the first k elements. So after the first k elements, we don't have to care anymore. Um, so that's a little bit faster, that that second part. Um, but yeah, but that's all I have with this problem. I think this is a easy problem probably, and they meant it to be easy. So it's just a good warm up for your real problem for when you do a solve a harder thing. So, uh, but yeah, but still, yeah, I don't know. This is just a for loop, so I'm not going to go that much into it. Uh, let me know what you think. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.